Saying, you need a spiritual foundation because God is trying to build something in your life, trying to build something in this community. You have got to take the little steps in order to get to the big steps. It's the little bitty things that spoil things, y'all. It's also the little bitty things that grow things. And I'm saying, listen, if your faith is not built on a strong foundation, you let me know when you're available and we'll do our best to try to make a time. And I ain't talking about some weak commitment. If you're an uncommitted person, don't write your name down. Don't have time for that. What we need is people that are serious about following God. Amen? And you say, well, that makes me afraid. No, 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 no. I didn't ask you to be good at it. I didn't ask you to be smart. I didn't, I didn't ask you to, to have something special to say. I didn't ask you to be a man or a woman. I didn't ask you to be an adult or a child. I'm not at, all I'm asking is just for your time because I know when people give God their time, God gives His resource. God will bring wisdom out of somebody that doesn't have a foundation if you'll if just give Him time. It's crazy how we got everything down to an art. Church has got to be this long. Church has got to be at this time. What's the best time to get everybody here? What's the best time to get everybody out here? How long can they focus? How many songs can we sing before, you know, uh, so-and-so starts dozing off? How long can he preach? Uh, I mean, uh, all, these, all of this stuff, just give God your life and let God do what God wants to do with it. Amen? So don't you be afraid to write your name down in that connect card at the end of this service. You don't have a spiritual foundation? We have a God who took a bunch of fishermen. And I know y'all like to fish. We probably got some folks with the hook right now. Come on. But he took those fishermen and he made them fishers of men. And I'm telling you, all you got to be is willing. So here's some faith facts. Faith pleases God. Faith believes that God exists. We just went over the verse. I'm just giving you the points from it. C. Faith believes God rewards those who earnestly seek Him. It's really cool, y'all. Because we all wind up on a level playing field. Because we can all seek God. We can all seek God. Number four, believe in God, trust in God, walk closely with God, and He will reward you. And I'm here to ask you this morning, do you really believe this? Do you really believe this? It's time. It's time for you to be more focused on God than ever. Let's pray. Father, today we thank you for the life of a man who lived thousands of years ago. We thank you that Enoch had such a great testimony about him. And Lord, I don't think any of us plan on living 300 years, but I pray in Jesus' name from now until the time we pass, we walk in such a way that pleases You. And we ask You to forgive us for all of our sins. Lord, we thank You that You're merciful. We plead for Your mercy today. I pray, Lord, for a fresh wind of faith to fall on this community, on this congregation. I pray that we would start believing and start stepping out, that we would start reaching out to people, that we will start stepping out in faith, that we'll start praying for our family members again, that we'll start praying for our families, that we will start listening and worshiping and putting you first. I pray, Lord, for a spirit of faithfulness to fall on our congregation. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Everybody said, Amen. Amen.